Glory to God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be the most holy names of Jesus and Mary. All right, we're back. I had to uh, take some time out and actually go up into the sky. And the reason I did this uh, is um, it's such a nice day out. But also, I want to talk um, briefly as an introduction to heaven. Okay. Beside me, you can see an icon. In the West, it's called Our Lady Perpetual Help. Um, it's the Holy Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ, two archangels there. Um, I have this icon living, uh, hanging in my own home, excuse me. Um, so we're going to talk about Mary as the Immaculate Conception, and I'm going to tie that to heaven, and hopefully this comes out. Number one, if you're, if, you're, if you're a Christian especially, and your idea of heaven is something like this, I'm floating, I'm floating around in clouds or something all day, that's not it. Okay, so we're going to begin to talk about that. But to get there, I got to talk about how did heaven come down to us? There's no Christianity if God does not come to us. We call that the incarnation. God the Son, God the Word, the Logos becomes a man. That's Jesus Christ. So the heavens came down to us. And how did they come down to us? They come down to it. They came to us, or the heavens, the heaven, the Trinity, the second person of the Holy Trinity came to us as a man through the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The womb, her womb then, her maternity is greater than the universe then, than the material universe, because the universe itself cannot hold God. Yet she held him in her womb. Uh, she raised the God-man. She is the immaculate virgin mother of God, the most pure virgin, the most holy one. Heaven came to us through Mary. There's that, there's that simple but profound saying, uh, no, Mary, no Jesus. So N-O, Mary, N-O, Jesus. No, Mary, no Jesus. That's the only way that Christ comes to us. That's the only way we know from divine revelation. That's it. No, Mary, no Jesus. And then K-N-O-W, no, Mary, no Jesus. You gain, you gain knowledge of Mary. You gain knowledge of Christ because he is her son just as much as he is the son of God the Father. That's the profound thing about the incarnation that a lot of us miss. Mary is not uh, ancillary. She's not incidental. You can't take or leave Mary. She's completely necessary to the plan of God's salvation. She's completely necessary to the universe. Okay, I'm just going to introduce that today. I'm going to take some quotes from St. Maximilian Kolbe, um, a great uh, Franciscan saint. He was martyred. Uh, Auschwitz. And I'm going to take some quotes from a book by Father Peter Damien Fellner, the theologian of Auschwitz. Okay. Uh, this book is maybe may a little advanced for some of you, but it, it's very good. I'm just into it. But from chapter one here, I just want to use this quote from uh, St. Maximilian. Uh, St. Maximilian wrote, in her apparition in Lourdes, the Immaculata did not say, I have been immaculately conceived, but I am the Immaculate Conception. With that, she determines not only the fact of the Immaculate Conception, but also the way in which that privilege belongs to her. Therefore, it is not some kind of casual feature, but a part of her very nature. She herself is the Immaculate Conception. As a result, she is such in us as well and transforms us into herself as Immaculate Beings. She is the Mother of God and also the Mother of God within us and makes us gods and mothers of God who generate Jesus Christ in the souls of men. How sublime. The whole idea here when we're beginning is don't think of heaven as another place. I'm here on earth and I die and I, now I'm in heaven. Uh, think of heaven. Heaven is God, the presence of God, the unmitigated presence of the divine essence in your soul. That begins in this life. It begins at baptism. But it begins when Jesus Christ is born in us by the whole, conceived in us by the Holy Spirit. And the way that he came in history and time in reality is through the Virgin Mary. So he is conceived in her womb. So therefore, when we want to become Christ, the Holy Spirit conceives Christ in us. It is through her mediation as well. In that way, we are transubstantiated into Jesus Christ. And we do this through Marian intercession. So I'm going to talk more about that in future videos and really then dig down to what is heaven. What is our salvation? What does it mean to become like God by participation? 
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.